Nom 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 Ah, no. Can I hear him? Silly child. Oh yeah. And it's not a lot of no. So, um, off stream, ay nagano ako. <laughs> Tinapos ko na lang ano dito. Technically, tinapos ko na lahat eh. <laughs> Except yung story, syempre. <laughs> gaming. Guy gaming, gaming. <laughs> hey, boss. The name's Gami. I'm a guard from the communications office. So, all this needs shipping, right? Uh, no, no, oh, no. You grab a seat and have some tea. I'll get these packed up for you, no problem. It'll only take me a minute, then we can get the delivery scheduled. Oh, oh and, and if you ever want to book a wushu dance, me and my crew are available in a heartbeat. The troops called the Mighty Mythical Beasts, and, and I'm the head. <laughs> Not to brag or anything. Oh, oh wait, bago yun, bago bago ng lagay yun na. And Shinsho. Valor ripples through his robes. His garments steeped in the spirit of the bamboo groves. Oh, ang ganda ng inad nila. May fortune find you. Ay, dalawa pa. Oh, binago, bago yun ah. Ah, mas. Ah, yes. New outfit. Yes. Parang hindi forina lang, no? What do you think? Sorry. Okay. <laughs> no spade lang. Wait lang, wait lang. Yan. Hindi ba para kay Forina? Para mo para lang si Forina. Weird. <laughs> We have gaming. Gate gaming. Shots. I can love you in the dark. I can love you. Okay, tuloy natin yung story. Um, I check ko lang mic. Oh, dalawa na lang na. Wait, wait until the appointed time 8 to 12, two days later. Oh, have to wait. Ah. So, last two quests na lang. Tapos na ang lantern na right. Ang asang outfit ng Chising siya. Pero parang ang makaparaw lang ka talaga kay Farina. Um. <laughs> and there it. I love you. I. Where are we going? <laughs> Meet up with. <laughs> it's gaming. <laughs> Sorry. Hello, gaming. <laughs> What's up, man? No, wala ka kayo na. Hi, Kaimangi! Hi, Monsies. You've certainly gotten an early start this morning. Playing games already, are you? Who won this time? You the one buying dim sum again? Hey, when you put it like that, it makes it sound like I'm always the one losing. Ah, oh, perfect. You're all here. There's an important commission I need your help with. All right, All right. I've got the time. Where are the goods? Uh, it's not just goods this time. The I merchant. to escort a tea merchant and their wares from Chaoying Village to Liyue Harbor. A very important client has requested to meet with him. Sure. sure. Uh, what's this merchant's address? Well, here. Uh, uh. If the client got... 
must be a very crucial, very pressing commission, right? Um, of course, the sooner you complete it, the better. I would advise you to depart as soon as possible. <laughs> I'm guiding. All right, um, don't work too hard now, Longjo. We'll set off then. Dang, uh, so. The glid, the glid, the returns to the pavilion. Oh, okay. Teleport the Titan. Teleport the Titan. Pagkantong loading talaga, ang tagal minsan. Wala tayo magugo eh. <laughs> Actually, nakatipend dito sa ano ko. Go to the commission location. Where? We're almost there. I'll take a rain check on that. Ayaw ko si May, hindi ano din tatay niya. Isin pamilya na. I still remember. Hello, you must be the team merchant heading to Liyue Harbor. We're here to escort you. <sighs> yep, tap. Oh, yep. Dad. <sighs> oh, so you're Gami's father. It's nice to meet you. Just leave this delivery to him. Trust Paimon, he's got this in the bag. Gaming is super good at what he does. Everyone at the Secure Transport Agency says as much. Even the Ministry of Civil Affairs has nothing but good things to say about him. Seems like you've made some sort of name for yourself at least. <laughs> at least? The... the goods are all in order? Yes, they're all here. Then let's get going. Uh... We would explain ourselves if you just didn't show up. Plus, you'd be missing out on a huge money-making opportunity. I see. I suppose I will have to trouble you all to escort me then. Oh my God, must be awkward. Let's go. It's <laughs> probably getting awkward. Tong escort nato. Work as arm escort together with gaming. Oh shit, one eight. I also won't show in. Won't show in. Sino kaya kailangan dun? Mama Michi wa in the middle. Um, we're here. Oops. We should. We've been walking for so long. Is anyone tired? How about we stop and rest for a bit? I'm fine. Have some delicious payment, payment. No, shut, shut. I'm fine. Thank you. Payment, read the mood. <laughs> this place looks nice and open. Why don't you all rest here for a second? Huh? What about you? You're not going to join us? I'm not tired. I'll keep watch. Oh, but... Just let him go. Okay, we'll just 
Cheer monsters have been. Did you know, Uncle Ip, that the flavor of these cakes changes depending on... Halt! Halt. Who goes there? Oh. It appears that one's movements <laughs> are going to be conspicuous. Enough of your musings. Focus. Focus on the matter at hand. Present your exquisite ornaments at once. <laughs> Indeed. I said, I get... Bring them forth readily and without protest. So brang polite naman <laughs> magnakaw. Ah, what do we do? It seems as if these two are acting alone. It won't be difficult to subdue them, but they might have something else waiting in store for Dad. The best way to keep him safe is leave this to me. I'll handle them. Traveler of Paimon, take my dad and the goods away from here. No, Kami. It's too dangerous. This is what I do. A thorny foe, indeed. Indeed. And seek a target softer in blows and disposition. My God, so very polite, naman. I don't think I'm gonna let you off so easily. Away! Let us away! What the fuck? Coming! Don't worry, he's a great fighter. Paimon's even seen him take down a dozen of their treasure hoarders all by himself. But coming, I... it's gaming. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, no problem. If he had just stayed by my side and learned a family trait, he wouldn't have to put himself in such dangerous situations. We just have to trust him. Let's go on ahead. We'd best get away from here in case there are other bandits in the area waiting in ambush. And there's Shan Yun. All is going to plan. It is. We should be good to stop here. Young Lee? Oh no, what is he doing here? What the hell are you doing here? What the frick is that? Good sir, please listen to me. Reel in your line and leave this place as quickly as you can. There are bandits in the area. Bandits? Acting in broad daylight? Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> ah, I see. It appears many people are catching a chill as of late. If you're throwing it, never mind. Paimon, perhaps some tea and rest are in order. Uh, nope, no need, no need. Paimon's fine. She just uh, had some cake stuck in her throat. You must have figured out that by now. Is he just being dumb on purpose? If there are indeed bandits in the area, then we should inform the Millilith at once. Oh? Well, if that's the case, such matters are best left to those with the necessary expertise. Wouldn't you agree? <sighs> I suppose you're right. If ordinary people like us got involved, we would only cause more trouble. Since we find, find ourselves, ourselves otherwise unoccupied in this beautiful area, why don't we find a quiet place to relax while we wait for good news? Hmm. That would be lovely. Oh man, dapat na si Jong Lee alam niya kung ano nangyayari. Kasi kahit na pinapalipad niya kanina. Grabe. I wonder where's Wu. Asan si Wu Tao? The name sounds somewhat familiar. Ah, yes. That is the name of the Usho dancer who has been performing around Liyua Harbor recently, is it not? Oh, have you seen him perform? Indeed. I cannot help but admire his skill. He truly encapsulates the spirit of the Suani. Usho dancing has become more well known in Liyua Harbor recently. However, although performers are seeing budding success, they have no doubt had to face many hurdles along the way. One's not so easily understood by spectators such as ourselves. If you ask me, what truly deserves admiration is perseverance in the face of adversity. That is a rare attribute indeed. I have heard many of my acquaintances praise Gaming for his kind, selfless and courageous disposition. To have a child so accomplished and upright, you must be a very proud parent indeed, Uncle Ip. 
Seems like Sean Lee has decided to skip the formalities. Uh, well, he he's a hard worker. Yes. You should be sure to tell him you think that when he cuts back. I... Your son is young yet. It's normal for someone his age to be a bit hot-headed. It's understandable to find talking about such things in person difficult. If there's a particular sentiment you wish to convey, perhaps we could pass it along for you. No, no. It wouldn't be right to ask that of you. <sighs> this thing between us has festered for many years now. In truth, there are some things that simply aren't easy for us to talk through. I've been in the tea business for most of my life, and I always hope my child would do the same. Otherwise, how would he support himself? Over the past few years, I wonder I how he was gone. doing for himself as a guard. How his work was taking him to farther and farther off places. I also heard that he never gave up on Wu Show dancing. It made me happy. But I was also worried. When you're young, you can handle all that physically taxing work and manual labor. What young person isn't capable of making a living that way? My concern is what happens when you get old. Every time I get to thinking like that, I cannot help but be reinforced in the belief that I was right. That I was right not to give in. I often regret introducing him to wushou dancing as a kid. If I had known how things would turn out, I would have never taken him to see those performances in the first place. It is only natural for a parent to strive to send their child down the right path. Pinaka best person talaga dito si Jolene, no? No one would begrudge you that sentiment, Uncle If. You need not worry. You seem quite young, Mr. Zhongli. Yet you speak with such wisdom. Sauce. Perhaps I have misjudged your age. Your words are too kind. Truth be told, one of my old friends has several grown daughters. Rather than fretting about their future, however, she prefers to let them find their own way. Then she is more easygoing than I could ever be. I fear I lack such an open mind. Uh, oh, I meant to say earlier, there is no need to be so polite. Uh, feel free to call me by my name, Iptak. Sure. So, do you also think I fret too much, Mr. Zhongli? <sighs> That's not exactly what I was hoping to convey. Only a fool would ask a parent not to worry about their child. But think of it this way. Raising a child is not unlike flying a kite. Hold the string too tight, and it can no longer soar. As my friend once said, if your children are aiming for the stars, Clipping their wings will only cause them to come crashing down. You need to let out the line for a kite to soar. <sighs> it seems I was too stuck in my ways. You need not reproach your heart for caring. You simply need to loosen your hold a little. Indeed, with such a big heart, why not allocate the time you usually spend worrying about Gamin to the pursuit of other Gamin. things? Like going for a stroll, drinking tea, or taking in the scenery. You never know what surprises could be in store. Things can change in the blink of an eye. <laughs> the blink of an eye, you say? Do things change so quickly? Children grow up in quite the same way, do they not? Day after day, year after year, sometimes in the blink of an eye, but always when you least expect it. As a father, I'm sure you know that best. <laughs> yes, yes, you can say that again. One second, Gaming was a kid. The next thing I knew, he was ready to fly the nest. Shang Li certainly has a way with words. <laughs> well, experience, may experience. But eh. the boy is Zhong Li. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, Dad, Traveler, Paimon. Good, you're all here. Oh, and 
Mr. Zhong Li from the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? You're here too? <laughs> A fated okay. meeting indeed. We were just enjoying some pleasant conversation. Uh, is everything resolved? Well, you could say that. What does that mean? Traveler, Paimon, come with me. I need to talk to you. Hmm. Uh, oh, okay. I had it. I'll come right out and say it. Those two bandits, you sent them, didn't you? No. <laughs> what are you talking about? So that's how we're starting off? Can't look me in the eye, huh? I guess I'm right then. Okay, but how did you know? At first, At first their mannerisms seemed a bit stilted. But once I got close, it was obvious that they possessed great skills. I was right on their tail, and it should have taken only a few steps to catch up to them, yet somehow I was never able to close that distance. The people with that level of skill would have gone about things differently from the start, like sneaking up on us while we were distracted. Unless, of course, their real motive was to lure me away from the group all along. Wow, you're pretty quick on the uptake. I just have a lot of experience. I've dealt with many a ruthless bandit in my time, but I've never seen ones like them. In the end, I told them they would make good guards if they ever wanted to get back on the straight and narrow, and that they could hang out with me and leave you a harbor anytime. Uh, you ever consider you might be a little too good at making friends? I'm guessing you guys were trying to help resolve things between my dad and me. <sighs> I appreciate it, I, I really do, but this conflict between us has been going on for a long time. Even if those two were real bandits, and I was able to subdue them and show them what I was capable of, it, it wouldn't change anything. You've seen the way he talks to me. It's not like that at all! Your dad really cares about you. You should see the way he talks about you when you're not around. John Lee was talking things through with him, and he knew he had to let it go. You don't believe us? He won't let it go. He can say as much as he wants to other people, but he won't talk to me. I'm certain of it. You told us you wanted to prove yourself to your dad. Why don't you tell him about all the hard work you've done these past few years? Will that even do anything? I'm not sure talking is enough. You won't know unless you try. Just like how you won't know if something is delicious unless you taste it. Listen to us. It's time to put these people's skills to good use. You can make friends with anyone, so why not your dad? <laughs> I'll do my best. Oh, no. <laughs> You are very knowledgeable, Mr. Zhongli. I'm impressed. Despite my being in the tea industry for several decades, it seems I still have much to learn about the art of tea tasting. You flatter me. It was nothing but a few humble musings. How much tea have you drank since we've been gone? <laughs> Ip Doc and I have found many a common interest. Our friendship, much like a cup of tea, seems to grow stronger the longer it has to steep. Well said, Mr. Zhongli. Gaming, Mr. Zhongli is very knowledgeable. You should take the opportunity to learn from people like him when you're in the city. Huh? Oh, uh, of course. <coughs> Zhongli? I have very much enjoyed our conversation, Ipdok. But I, unfortunately, have some unfinished funeral parlor business to attend to. <laughs> oh, I, I hope I didn't keep you. My apologies for taking up so much of your time, Mr. Zhongli. No need to stay on my account. When you're less busy, let's find a time to meet. I'll treat you to dim sum. It would be an honor. Are you sure it's fine? It's Zhongli. Thanks for helping us talk things through with Uncle Ip. Good thing you were able to pick up on what we were putting down. I have been around the both of you for some time now. You could say I have a certain level of expertise in that regard. As for my role in the conversation, think nothing of it. I hardly did anything noteworthy. <laughs> you never 
king. king, do you? Uh, uh why did you have us walk all this way? Paimon thought we just had to go far enough to be out of earshot. A friend approaches. Friend approach. Oh. I've been here the whole time. Did you really? Oh. <laughs> ghostly kite. Could that elusive director who be coming to Wangshu in once again? <laughs> once again. What is she doing here? Uh, I suppose it matters not. Given her relationship with Rex, well, Zhongli, I might as well go pay my respects. Ah, she's preparing a hotel. And Zhongli. <laughs> It's you. I thought you were Director Who. Ah, your arrival is most fortuitous. Do you want to try out this new gadget? The addition of the power source makes the takeoff more stable. It's just that... He seems quite immersed in the study of this device. I fear it's almost too stable. It completely negates the pleasure of seeing one's kite sway with the wind. It's a bit of a shame. In truth, I'm here because Director Who dispatched me to purchase some items in preparation for Lantern Rite. I see. Much like she does every year. Much like she'll do next year, I would imagine. <laughs> hmm. Uh, yeah, that's Who, though. Am I wrong? Or has she once again sent you out to buy, what is it, sesame oil or something? While we're on the subject, I do wonder why she is so obsessed with using sesame oil in the preparation of mixed vegetable dishes for Lantern Rite. A recommendation from Shang Ling, perhaps. What do you think, Xiao? I've only met Director Hu a few times. I'm hardly the best person to ask. Ah, and is that not a sign that you should visit Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor more often? It wouldn't hurt to grace the parlor with your presence now and again, when you are otherwise unoccupied. This one here is a traditional kite, one without any equipped mechanical device. Director Hu tasked me with studying the differences between the two to determine which one is of greater merit. Many hands make light work. Perhaps you could test out the other kite for me? All right. <coughs> I have made my comparisons. If speed is what you're after, the mechanical kite is the better choice. Wonderful. I shall pass that information along to Director Hu. I'll leave these mechanical with right? you. Perhaps you can find a few friends with which to partake in the activity. You might find it to be an enjoyable use of your time. Oh, uh, wait. Who enjoys kite flying? Everyone. Well, I would imagine someone of your talent and wisdom is more than capable of finding out. So, you were testing out the kites for Hu Tao and even wrote Xiao into doing it for you? I didn't ask earlier because the situation was... Uh, I would hardly uh, say I roped Xiao, Xiao into anything. I simply sought the help of a friend. Besides, we did the testing together. Uh, seems like our pool of competitors is growing. Do you like kite flying, Xiao? I suppose I neither like nor dislike it. Is that a yes? Although, watching a kite gradually ascend into the sky does bring me a certain peace of mind. Perhaps they're a bit like shell lanterns in that way. Hmm. Kite flying is also a pleasant form of relaxation. Have you ever thought about making a kite shell? Cloud Retainer taught us how. We can teach you if you want. There's no need. Minogius was the only Yaksha among us who had an interest in matters of ornamentation and design. When Lantern Rite is over, come find me near Pervasi's temple if you have the time. Sure. Mm. I should go inform Director Hu of our findings. How has she been, by the way? Oh, I sent her. The last time I spoke to her, she mentioned that she would be visiting Chaoying Village. Chaoying Village. All right. If you have the time, perhaps you could also make the trip. If you happen to run into her, you can pass along your regards in person. We'll keep that in mind. Take care, Xiang Lin. See you later. See you next time. No, I think I did it. Uh, Dad. <laughs> uh, uh, you can go first. I don't have anything to say. Then I'll go. I still don't want to leave Liyue Harbor. Oh, I can't say I support that decision, but... <sighs> hey, let me finish before you get all worked up. 
Sit, Shinta. Sit. You must be tired from your journey. Ang dami ngayon na papakita ngayon, ha? Shall I pour you a cup of tea? Or would you prefer something else to drink? No need. I'm not tired. They're gone, Master. Perfect. The time is nigh for us to make an appearance. Do you remember the plan one recounted to you? Yes, Master. We aim to give them a demonstration of familial love. Familial love? What? So I'll have whatever you are having. All right. What are Auntie Shen Yun and Shen He doing here? Just how many people are involved in this scheme? Everyone. <laughs> I suppose all I can do is just take a seat and see what happens. Perfect. I just so happened to have bought some Sanglo tea recently. It's quite the delectable variety. Or it would be if one has not been forced to drink it every day in the hopes of whittling down one's considerable stash. One has more than had one's fill already. Oh, forget it. Such thoughts detract from the present need to keep up the conversation. Has, has work, work been it? busy during the holiday season? Do you need my help with anything? Uh, drunk no. guests can sometimes cause trouble. But I deal with them as you taught me. By pinning their heads against the table. Yep. Uh? Are Auntie Shen Yun and Shen He serious right now? Um, Shen He. <laughs> oh dear. While one was busy orchestrating this act, one seems to have forgotten about Shen He's very eccentricities. <clears throat> what, 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 uh, what I meant to ask was, have you made any new friends? We live so far from each other. It would be a great comfort to me to know you were surrounded by good companions. You already know of my past circumstances. Recently, I've been conversing with Guoba in the kitchen at night. Guoba can't talk, but his companionship is a comfort. <sighs> the poor child. Her one friend can't even talk. Oh my god. I guess... Maybe Gaming is not doing I so did. bad. Oh, okay, go again. <laughs> Perhaps I've been too hard on him. <coughs> Let's move on, shall we? Do you have any plans for today, Shen He? How about we do something fun? That sounds about right. Take her to do something fun, and perhaps she'll loosen up a bit. Like we used to do when we would carry stones oh, up and no. down the mountain from dawn until dusk, oh. picking herbs to keep the people along the way. <laughs> if that is what you ask of me, oh, then that is what I shall do. <laughs> Dad, uh, here, have some tea. Or, or no, wait, let's not have any just yet. <coughs> uh, yeah. oh, I simply can't listen to that any longer. Coming. I'd like to finish what I was trying to say before. I don't support your decision to stay in Liyue Harbor, because living there is too hard on you. If you come home, there will be people to help you. I'm not saying we have to live under the same roof. I know our personalities are too similar to avoid butting heads, but you'll have your entire family around you. Your aunts, uncles, they'll all do whatever they can to help. You could get a less taxing job, and we could... We could grab dim sum together from time to time. Huh. I didn't know dim sum was such an important Shana. affair, Shana. Master. Shana. Shana. Just think about it, okay? You don't have to decide now. Dad really has changed a lot. He would never have said these things to me before. But I... Thank you, Dad. Been long enough, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure hopes they've made up by now. Oh, they're drinking tea in silence. That's not, not a good sign. sign. Did Shen Yun's plan not work <laughs> after all? Uh, uh hey, you two. You? I'm really sorry we were gone for so long. We got to That's chatting funny. with some friends and didn't realize how much time had passed. Perfect timing, actually. We seem to be just about done here. Yep, uh, let's go. I'll get the oh. bags. <sighs> Gaming has grown a lot taller, hasn't he? What the heck are you two doing? Master, did I say something wrong earlier? I tried to go along with your questions. 
But when I saw how you and that man reacted, I started to wonder. <sighs> Not at all. Certain unforeseen variables may have presented themselves along the way, but the outcome proved favorable. The plan was a success. Then I helped? Naturally. Your purity of spirit is one of your greatest strengths, Shenha. You need not change who you are. What the heck, guys? Go to the harbor to deliver the goods. Oh. Asali yung talaga yung punta natin. Oh, Charlotte, a char, a char, a Charlotte, Charlotte. <laughs> We're here. Nakita si Shania sa likod. You must be Mr. Ip. Thank you for coming all this way. My name is Charlotte, and I'm a reporter from Fontaine. You can find me writing for the Steambird. I invited you here not just to purchase your fine tea, but also with the hope that you might be willing to sit down for a short interview. What do you say? An interview? To advertise my teas? I suppose you could think of it that way. We Fontanians are big tea drinkers too. Yep. <laughs> the Fontaine Market. Then I'll need some time to adequately prepare. Perhaps we could sit down and discuss the questions you intend to ask in advance. Of course, of course. Please follow me. Oh. Oh, I'm going to share the data. Is this person also involved in your plan? Uh, what do you think? <laughs> I thought I had lots of connections. I suppose I've been humbled. You sure know all kinds of cool and important people. Over here! You who? Over here! Uh huh? What? Auntie Shenyun? She probably wants to talk about the next phase of the plan. Let's go while your dad is still distracted. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's the next plan, Auntie? I take it that all is going well? Don't worry, Shenyun. Everything is going according to plan. I knew it. I knew that was all an act earlier. Auntie Shenyun is really something. She was so determined to help me. She didn't even care about making herself and Shanha appear foolish in front of my family. She truly knows how to look out for others. I still have a lot to learn. As for the next step... Oh no! What? What's wrong, Gummy? Don't tell me you're the ones footing the bill for all that tea. I can't let you do that. Fret not. Reimbursements will be made. Exactly! Think of it more as an investment, as Ning Wang would say. We pulled together the Mora so that Charlotte could place the order. She's gonna bring it back to the Steambird as a gift, as well as a sample of the regional specialty. Fontanians will probably fall in love with your dad's tea as soon as they lay their eyes on Charlotte's article. And once all the money from the new orders begin to roll in, getting our Mora back will be a piece of cake. Oh, okay. Business-related matters always seem to go over my head, but I refuse to let you all lose Mora on my behalf. I'll pay you back right now. No, 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 no. We can talk about such matters at a later date. There are more important matters for you to consider at the moment. Are there not? Yes. I've been thinking about it the whole way here. I have an idea, but I'd hate to cause even more trouble for all of you. Hmm. That is for us to decide. Yeah! We're all friends here. Plus, we wouldn't be here if we didn't want to help, right? Just tell us about this idea of yours. Okay. So, it's like this. Got it! Just leave it to us! Let's split up and make it happen! We need to do those things we talked about, but we also still have the kite flying competition! Since Xiao already tested out those kites for us, why don't we also go buy one of those mechanical thingamabobs or whatever they're called? We can attach it to our kite! 
So, in kite muna. <laughs> Go to the kite store. Hindi eh, ba? Alam, alam ko last time binili ko lahat eh. Last time binili ko lahat eh. Off stream, off stream. Alam mo, alam mo kung meron pa. Welcome back. I see you returned from your trip. I really do have to thank you for all your help from before. Thanks to you, my daughter was able to build a kite with her grandmother that very same day. She even wrote a long letter telling me how much she loved it. Oh, you should really be thanking Gaming, not us. Oh, I'll be sure to. And are you here to buy a kite? Please take your pick. Oh, we already have a kite. We wanted to buy one of those um device thingies from Funkane. Do you sell them separately? Ah, yes. Here you go. Please take it free of charge. The directions are in the box. It's not hard to install at all. Um, it doesn't feel right for us to just take it. Well, nor would it feel right for me to take your mora. <laughs> Good luck in the kite flying competition. I'll be rooting for you. Thank you. Thank you. My panato. It's done. Let's get down to business. <laughs> She's on Ganda High, po. Wait for Lantern Rites to begin. Eh, ngayon na ba magsisimula? So, ano, ano yung pang-apat na quest? Hey, how are you? Hello. Okay lang ako. Ano kayo pang apat na quest? Come here, allow me. What happened? What should we do? Oh, oh. Can we get the mill lit? Oh. It's gumming. What's that? Oh shit. Okay, tanong, parang siya nakakalakad sa tubig. Cool. The Charlotte. Have I taken that many pictures already? Uh, I need to load more film. <sighs> nice performance. <laughs>
Queen. The wind. <laughs> Happy Lantern Night. <laughs> Happy Lantern Night. <laughs> okay, at least, at least, at least, nakita ko si Hutaw. Masaya na ako dun. Pero okay, maganda, maganda yung, ano, cutscene, ah. I think I'll head out now, if that's okay. Thank you, little girl. Do you want us to walk you back? No need, no need. Master is waiting for me right over there. Oh my god, the wrong base there, I suppose I'll go first this time. Okay. Your performance. I've seen many wushu dances in my time, but I've got to admit, what you pulled off there was breathtaking. Wow. I... I never thought I'd live to hear you say that. You're serious about doing this professionally? Absolutely. I, I know it'll be difficult, but... Then it doesn't matter. What I mean to say is, of course it'll be difficult. But if that's your decision, if that's your dream, then it doesn't matter how difficult it is. As long as you put in the work, then any obstacle can be overcome in time. Really, when I was young, I also... <laughs> Actually, <laughs> how about we save that story of my past for another time? All I really want to say is, I've changed my mind. And much like this guy, you also deserve to soar to new heights. Dad. Son. Son? <laughs> Haven't heard that in a while. I bet you're wondering what's gotten into me saying all this. Well, <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Anyway, I know I've never found the chance to say this before, but <clears throat> to me, Gaming, you've always been a great kid. <laughs> all right, that's everything I've got. Did you have something you wanted to say or... Seeing the two of them to have things through like this really gives time on a sense of accomplishment. <laughs> yep, it was all because of you. Now go. Over there, your friends are still waiting for you. Huh? But you came all this way. I'll be staying in Liyue Harbor for a bit longer. When you have time, we can grab dim sum together. Your treat, right? Dad, honestly. <laughs> Go. <laughs> okay, then I'm off. See you soon. Uh, really? It's nothing to be embarrassed about. Hmm. 
I'd like to find and thank Auntie Xianyan, as well as everyone else who's helped me out. If everyone has time, maybe we could all get together and go fly a kite. <laughs> now, ano yung pang apat na quest? Since tapos na yung lantern, right? Oh, wait lang, papapig. Pa picture na tayo, wait lang. Picture na tayo sa gitna. Ito, wait lang, wait lang. Oh, makasama na yung dalawa. <laughs> Hi. Kasama na kayong dalawa. Pinag-uusapan nyo. No more achieve after being sent up into the sky. I guess I've been kind of controlled that line. The wind might decline your commands all the same. Speaking of that, should we go by one? I mean, I haven't flown one before, so I'm not sure if it'll work out. Or what we say, we make one together. I've seen kids discarded the patterns. They want to draw on theirs. So it might not be that difficult. The two of us? Sure, let's give it a go. <laughs> I think, um, I'm going to focus on gaming in the cutscene. We can give it a try. I can't see them in the cutscene. I guess I'll check out on uh, YouTube. Lang. Wait, I'm going to picture it. Let's picture it. Do-do-do-do-do. All right, wait until two days later, Narman. Wait, I'm in my law. Uh, I'll hate them. What the heck? Tishin, I will be visiting the house of prayer. A few days ago, mentioned up your name. Pretty Isaac now as. Advanced reading materials are attached to this letter. What the heck? Twelve. Pew pew. Sorry, Ellen. I got an actually not seeing. Wait, I got message. Mo. I'm just down to focus on the quest. I need to check more. Ah, oh, isa pa. Wanna come over for tea? Oh, hi, my name is Mika. Didn't Xiang Li say Wu Tao was also planning on spending some time in Xiaoying Village? Ooh. Oh, oh, hey, 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 I think so. I think so. <laughs> All right, I'm coming. All right. Let's switch style. The magic air is so refreshing. It makes time I feel like she could float around all day and never get tired. Cream, gummies, fuel, What? What a familiar bosses, huh? So Paimon wasn't just hearing things. Hmm, that voice sounds really familiar. Well, we've got the time. Why don't we go check it out? What the heck? We have Paimon make our way up to the mountain in search of the source of the shout. As far as you can make out its almonds, this and coco cocoa paste that. Sounds delicious, that's for sure. But I've been posting burger resistance and you ascend the mountain in no time. That's it, Yun. Unang-una kong muna rinig. Oh! 
the hell on a date? Ah, well, if it isn't my dear partners. See, I told you that something good was going to happen during our travels today. I have to say, sometimes the Steambird's astrology column is spot on. It's just your lucky day. Hi, Chlorine. Are you guys also <laughs> here to catch the festivities? Oh, and that reminds me. Happy Lantern Right. Happy Lantern Right. Happy Lantern Right to you, too! Uh, uh, wait, if you're here for Lantern Right, then what are you doing on top of this deserted mountain? And that voice we heard, that was you, right, Nabia? <laughs> oh, impressive. You could tell it was me from that far away. You've got good ears. That and your voice is really loud. <laughs> well, of course it is. After all, I'm a boss. Indeed. I suppose it's an asset. Sure is. Having a loud voice is a handy tool when it comes to communication. Wait, wait, wait. That wasn't even Paimon's point. Paimon just wants to know why you two were shouting from the top of this deserted mountain. There was something about almonds, maybe? And you group? Ooh, is it some sort of secret code? No, it's not a code. The words are meaningless. Perhaps. But the act of shouting was very meaningful indeed. That's just what mountain climbers do, right? After all the hard work it takes to make it to the top, as you stand on the summit looking out at the vast scenery, it's not easy to resist the urge to release those emotions. <laughs> exactly. You get me, partner. I was afraid that it would cause a disturbance, so I asked the locals around here and they said it was fine. Apparently most hikers like to shout when they get to the top, so the locals are used to it by now. So, you see, it's not just me. I guess everyone shouts from the top of a mountain at some point in their life. Wait, nakakapag-meet pa tayo sa mga ibang Fontanian characters? Speak for yourself. When you're stressed, don't you ever just get the urge to do something for no reason? Not really. If I ever get stressed, I just go hunting. Oh, that's a pretty good way to release stress. What I choose to hunt depends on my mood. What? Huh? <laughs> um, anyway, why don't you two give it a try? Shout anything you want. It's a real stress reliever. Hmm. As long as Paimon has clothes on her back and food in her belly, Paimon doesn't think there's a stress that he's relieving. Oh, up. I bet you guys are just too embarrassed to let loose. No need to be shy. Even, Even Farina, Farina was shouting, shouting from the top of this mountain earlier. Farina? Huh? Did Paimon hear that, Brandy? Farina is also here? In Chihayan Village? Believe in your ears. It is indeed as you heard. Actually, the reason we climbed this mountain in the first place was also because we heard the sound of shouting. Yes. We could just about make out someone yelling things like, Help me! And what should I do? So we hurried up here to check it out. And what do you know? Miss Farina was standing right there, all red in the face. She practically sprinted back down the mountain the minute she saw us. <laughs> that reminds me. I believe what she actually said was, So help me, I will figure out what I should do about this script. Uh, so, you could actually hear what she was saying? Why did you say so earlier? I thought someone was really in trouble. I figured we would come check out the situation either way. Why not let her keep some privacy? Oh! Seems like you caught Farina in the middle of some stress relief as well. She probably would have never thought... No, she definitely would have never thought she would run into anyone she knew all the way out here. Is she alone? I think so. Uh, we oh, ran into the on, the on the way here as well, but he was already on his way back, so they probably weren't together. What? No, that was you too? What was he doing here? It couldn't have been for vacation. I think it just might have been, actually. I guess he never but apparently he only stayed for half a day before heading back. He's a very busy man. Hmm. Nevillet is not the type to take much time off. Taking even a half day for himself is already a huge step in the right direction. Didn't Charlotte publish an article on the Liyue tea industry recently? Maybe he was inspired to come buy some tea after reading that article. You know, just like you were. My situation is completely different. I'm here because I was asked to accompany you. The tea purchase is simply an added bonus of this location. I think it's rice, dude. Double shame for one to be there. Oh, it's not for me. I lost a bet with Ridesley, <laughs> and now I have to buy him something. <laughs> but it was just a spur of the moment sort of bet. Ridesley gets really invested in that sort of thing. 
But he couldn't care less about what he wins in the end. You could give him mint plants that you plucked from the side of the road, and he wouldn't even mind. Uh, if only he was that easy going when it came to talking business. In any case, I'm pretty sure the tea you bought is this region's specialty. What is it called again? Uh, Nervalette even mentioned it earlier. Yes, yes, that's the one. You didn't really buy ten boxes, did you? Please. Do I look like someone who would fall for that sort of marketing trap? Ah, that reminds me. You guys said you only came up here because you heard my voice, right? I hope it didn't put you out. You must have had other plans for the day. Oh, that's right. You too. A few days ago, we heard that a friend was going to be in Taoyang Village. So we decided to come and see if we could run into her. Oh, dear. We've been chatting for quite some time. I'm sorry for keeping you. No, I'm you. done, partner. <laughs> that's good. No need to stay on our account. We just got up here, so we're gonna stay around for a little longer. Mm. Go and meet your friend. We can meet up in Chaoyun Village later. Sounds good. We're gonna head down the mountain then. See you later. Alright, you guys stay here. What do I have to do to get you to yell from the top of this mountain? Name your price. You really want to hear it that bad, huh? I'm just curious is all. I have a feeling you'll say something amazing. <sighs> I will pass. I prefer to let actions speak louder than words. <laughs> Alright, where is... Where the hell is Fu Tao? Phew. With the wind. Salaran bakum That we were able to meet you both without prior arrangement must mean that this is quite the serendipitous meeting indeed. Uh -huh. Oh, so both of you are acquainted with the traveler in Paimon then. So many chumps all in one place. Um, looks like someone's learned a thing or two from Zhongli. Uh -huh. I must admit, I am a bit surprised to see you here, traveler. But seeing as you're a hero who's been all over to that, it makes sense that you would be well traveled and well connected. Since we have found ourselves in each other's company within this fertile land, fertile allow me land. to take this opportunity to wish you a happy lantern rite. It appears you have been to Fontaine then. No Given way. your proclivity to spread good deeds wherever you go, it's no surprise that you would make the acquaintance of a celebrity as illustrious and celebrated as Miss Farina. <laughs> I mean to say is, you flatter me, 
Mr. Jolly. Although I've built up a certain following within Fontaine, it is no reflection of strength or wisdom. I stand before you right now as nothing more than an ordinary traveler in search of beautiful scenery and creative inspiration. There is definitely more to Mr. Zhongli than meets the eye. Yep. I could tell as much from our conversation earlier. <laughs> Given his breadth of knowledge on both academic and worldly matters, there's no way he hasn't heard about what happened in Fontaine. Is he just feigning ignorance for my benefit? <laughs> no, no, no. Aya. 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 I simply won't have you talk about yourself that way. Huh? Does that mean Hu Tao also knows? You may not have heard, friends, but... Uh, Miss Hu Tao! Miss mm -hmm. Farina is now one of my esteemed clients! Uh, uh, uh. Yup! <laughs> Do you hear that, Paimon? Okay, I'll pay you, Ling. Hmm, guess Paimon will have to break into the hidden stash at the bottom of her shoe. Uh huh? What's this about winning something? Nothing, Don't nothing. Tell me, you two were placing bets on us. <laughs> oh, we just saw you guys standing on the side of the road and you couldn't help but take guesses as to what you were talking about. Oh, I see. That means you, my friend, must have guessed that I was trying to promote my business to Miss Farina. And you know me. That I do, my friend. What was Paimon's guess then? Young Lee was showing the newbie around. <sighs> By newbie, you mean <laughs> me, right? If that's the case, then Paimon's guess was also correct. Oh, that's right. Mr. Zhang Lee was telling me about some great sightseeing spots in the area. <laughs> you see? Paimon was right too. Since both of our guesses were right, there can't be a winner or a loser. Hey, don't be upset, traveler. How about this? You buy Paimon a bowl and Paimon will also buy you a bowl. Uh, as for the third bowl... Since I was the subject of the bet, perhaps it should go to me. You know, as a congratulations for the huge deal I just struck. I'll buy you a bowl anytime you want. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was just joking. Anyway, I should be the one treating you. The funeral parlor is about to bring in quite the sum after all. Oh, Paimon almost forgot to ask about the most important question. Did, uh, something happen recently, Farina? Huh? What do you mean? Uh, well, you know, with you enlisting the services of Wangcheng Funeral Parlor and all. Oh, well, yes. Really? Oh, no. Paimon is so sorry for your loss. Although Paimon I don't think, I don't think I'm going to stop you. Not like that, Paimon. Huh? But, but Paimon just thought, that, since you hired the services of a funeral parlor and all... Hey, it's not that big of a stretch. Really, Paimon? It's not like you don't know me. Do I look like I know anyone who would ask me to coordinate their funeral? Um... Miss Hu Tao is simply helping prepare some props for my film. Not too long ago, I wrote a collection of horror stories from Liyue. The content was spectacular. In fact, I still feel the need to sleep with the light on even now. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that's not the point. Now that Fontaine's biggest star has returned to the stage, I figured it's about time the industry enjoyed a breath of fresh air. Hey, <laughs> that's pretty good. I'll have to remember that for my ad posters. That makes a lot of sense. So, did you come to Liyue just to enlist the services of Wangcheng Funeral Parlor? Well, not exactly. My original plan was to just relax and enjoy the sights. But then I ran into Miss Hu Tao and Mr. Zhang Li, and well, you know the rest. I suppose it was meant to be. It was a fated meeting indeed. Fated meeting. Zhang Li sure loves his lofty turns of phrase. But if you ask me, it's all thanks to that man who stopped to ask for directions. Oh? Who was it? It's someone you know. Wanna take a guess? <laughs> what? How did you guess that on your first try? Very impressive, my friend. Your guessing game is spot on today. I'm gonna add it. In the telephone that you encounter with Navi and Corinne at the top of the mountain, one look at the pitiful expression on Farina's face is enough to convince you to leave out the part about the shouting. 
tried to get lost. I'm sure he didn't get lost. <laughs> Even I was able to find my way to this place without any trouble. He was already getting ready to leave by the time I arrived. He just wanted to ask someone about the quickest way to get back to Fontaine. Yep. Can you just fly? That's exactly what he asked. Can you fly? Can you fly? Syria is full of mountains and rivers. It's normal to not know the fastest route. So, were you the one that pointed him in the right direction, Hutel? Of course. I'm also a guide of sorts, you know. So naturally, I also have a great sense of direction. But, speaking of your friend... What about him? He doesn't get out much. Does he? Oh, no. Uh, no wonder. He was stiff as a board and way too polite. I would have never guessed he was here on vacation if you hadn't told me. All in all, he was only here for half a day. I'm pretty sure he is the only one who would consider that to be a vacation. Oh? This gentleman you speak of must keep a demanding schedule. I'm sure he does. You didn't see him, but he was dressed like he was about to attend some important meeting. It wasn't anything like what someone would wear on vacation. Is that so? Wait, you didn't see him, young man? Unfortunately, no. At the time, it appeared as if Director Hu and Miss Farina were having quite the productive conversation. I know matters of business can take much discussion, so I decided, I decided. to fetch some tea for them. What a shame. That gentleman seemed like a sophisticated sort of guy. I actually think you two would have hit it off. That's so. Uh, judging by how Zhongli is acting and taking into consideration Smivelet's true identity, could Zhongli have been avoiding him on purpose? Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, <that's true. laughs> to borrow Miss Farina's turn of phrase, perhaps it just wasn't meant to be. Well, with the traveler around, I'm sure you'll have a chance to get to know each other at some point. That's right. He's got more friends than he knows what to do with. Well, that's certainly true. Oh, that reminds me. If you get the chance, you should try to talk to Nervalette into loosening up a bit. Just tell him the Palais Mermonia isn't going to fall apart if he disappears for a few days. <laughs> he shouldn't keep himself cooped up all the time. Even clams open their shells to let in fresh water every once in a while, right? If he's really that much of a stickler for protocol, he can fill out a leave of absence request. He'd uh, have to approve it himself since he handles that sort of thing now, but you know what I mean. Seems like this gentleman is also in charge of something pretty important. Uh, it's unfair. Otherwise known as the demon who controls all the paper in Fontaine, no? Hey, uh, sounds like a pretty uptight sort of guy, all right. In my experience, a leader needs to be able to roll with the punches. That also includes knowing when and what to prioritize. It seems like your friend still has a lot of growing to do. If I remember oh, right, na, na, already several thousands of years old. Uh, you're quite right, Thank you. <laughs> Oh? Traveler, Miss Farina. Those two individuals over there appear to recognize you. Oh, it's Navia and Karan. And I'm in town. I'm in town. We're all chatting over here, and we're wondering if we could join <coughs> in. <clears throat> um, please excuse the interruption. <laughs> so polite. No apologies necessary. Any friend of the traveler and Miss Farina is a friend of mine. Ah, straight to the point. I like it. I rush around you and begin to introduce themselves. With those eyes light up when she hears about Clarine's profession. <laughs> Looking at explanation for Farina and Navi seems to dispel some of her more misguided ideas. Oh, one. Sheesh. It's getting late. If we want to catch a boat back before dark, we should probably get going. Indeed. Then, Miss Farina. Oh, uh, uh, yes? When are you planning to head back? Do you need us to escort you? Oh, uh, um, I, I don't think that will be necessary. I mean, you're not my subordinate anymore. You don't need to look after me. Um, I didn't mean it that way. It's normal for friends to travel home together if they run into each other on the road. Mm, there are a lot of mountainous roads in this area. I imagine they'll be even harder to navigate after dark. Exactly! Just like in those ghost stories. 
Eight paths converge in a wood. Beside them, an old house is stood. If you dare to go inside, not a soul will greet your eye. But if you take a closer look, there may be something you mistook. A candle flickers to and fro, yet there is no wind to make it so. What is its secret? What could it mean? In this wood, where mystery screams. <laughs> My dear, dear, my dear, ladies, no, uh, I mean, friends, please take me with you. <laughs> of course. Verena? <laughs> Gotta say, Farina, you are really quite the character. By the way, did I hear you mention that Clorand used to work under you? Then you must have also been a leader at some point. Uh, well, that's, uh, all in the past now. Besides, being a leader is hard. It wasn't the right job for me. I prefer how things are now. I can come and go as I please and get to enjoy the sweet taste of freedom. I see. Well, you've certainly picked an apt place to relax. Chaoying Village is an exemplary choice. Only the best. <laughs> and I've learned a lot, too. Thank you so much, Miss Hu Tao and Mr. Zhongli. It's fine. You've thanked us more than enough already. The next time you're in this neck of the woods, I'll treat you to some dim sum in the city. Dim sum. Is that some kind of Liyue term for snacks or desserts? They are a part of it. It's basically a table full of as much tea, sweets, and good company as you can manage. Oh, so it's basically a tea party. <laughs> Sounds great. Make sure to order the winter melon cake and the lotus flower crisp. They're so sweet and delicious. I know you'll love them. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to it then. Wait, wait, wait. Didn't you guys say you were here on vacation? How come you're all going home and of course I am. I bought tons of fun things to bring home with me. A kite, a parasol, a little tin frog that jumps. Oh, and a stuffed toy of a mythical beast. Gloria is the one who didn't buy anything for herself. So what about the tea? you're bringing back with you is that tea? And some tea-flavored hard candies. They're for Sijuin. Florand isn't much of a shopaholic. Well, one of us has to practice restraint. Hey. I'm hardly reckless with my mora. I'll have you know, all the purchases I made today were well within my budget. Me? Oh, well, I bought some tea, of course. I just had to try all the varieties recommended in the Steambird. Other than that, just some bits and bobs, you know. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. They should all be things I can use. I think... Save her for a few marketing traps. Actually, Monsieur Nervillet took them with him. Oh. Ah, that's... Wait, what? Why did he take them? He's not hoarding treasure, is he? <laughs> that's quite the imagination you've got there, Paimon. Monsieur Nervillet just saw the amount of bags we had and offered to take them back for us. I felt a bit bad at first, but, uh, I really did have a lot of stuff. <laughs> He even offered to deliver my gifts to the Fortress of Maripede for me, once he's done with the day's work. Novelette is a man of his word. If he says he can do something, then he means it. See, even Clorand was happy to take him up on his offer. If even his trusty subordinate agreed, then who was I to refuse? Wow, he seems like a real gentleman. Maybe he's not as uptight as I thought. If only the funeral parlor had an employee as thoughtful, proactive, and responsible as him. Right, Zhang Li? Indeed. Clarence <laughs> said Novelet offered to deliver her gifts to Rise. What's up, man? Go to the entrance of the Fortress of Maripede. Maybe we'll run into Novelet. Oh, that reminds me. A new year of work is about to begin. If there's anything you want to talk about, Zhang Li, you know you can come to me. I'm all ears. Does the director have any concerns? It just seemed like you were a bit preoccupied today, and much less talkative than usual. He barely said anything other than, Is that so? And, indeed. 
If you ask me, I'd say you're having a midlife crisis. You're getting to be around that age after all. Is that so? Uh. <laughs> I jest, given its distance from the city. Chaoying Village enjoys a much slower pace of life. Surrounded by such peace and tranquility, I also seem to have developed a proclivity for inactivity. I apologize for making you worry. Ah, um, I see. What do you think, Traveler? Oh. <laughs> Is this atmosphere putting you in a lazy mood, too? Uh, <laughs> wow, you are getting really good at these kinds of lines. Indeed. Wait lang ako to, ang picture lang tayo. Wait lang ah, wait lang ah. Wait. Wait lang ah. Habang Furina ako at si Furina doon sa likod ko. Ah, ito na, anong nangyari dito? Well, everyone, make sure that you've got all your belongings with you before we leave. If there's any souvenirs anyone still wants to buy, the time is now. Reliable as ever, Miss President. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Clorand is right, though. You really are reliable. It's not what she's saying. It's the way she's saying it. I will say, but I never thought you'd be so easygoing outside of work, Clorand. The tone of voice you use when you're working doesn't exactly make you seem like the type who enjoys interacting with people. Well, I try to keep my professional and private life separate. That includes my behavior. You take care now, Traveler. Hi, oh. Mon. Ah, trying to act cool now, are we? <laughs> well, I guess it's not an act for you, is it? You are indeed quite strong. <laughs> it's been great talking to you all. I'm really glad I decided to come to Chaoying Village. Maybe we could go on another trip together sometime? Oh, so I want to meet Riley. Let's see, Nuvlet, Nuvlet. Or just a Mary Pit, but also, I know. I just, I know. Sorry, good, pa. Right. Look for Nervlet. Half day vacation lang siya no. Ay, no. Oh, it's you. It has been some time since our last meeting. Few people frequent this location. Since I was able to conclude my work early for the day, I thought I might take a walk and avail myself of this area's peace and quiet. You call this early? Do you always work this late, Strictly speaking, that depends on the agenda for the day. I am hardly bereft of time, however, so working late is of little consequence to me. Really? If you have so much time on your hands, then why do you only go to Chaoyang Village for half a day? Hmm? 
First, I should clarify that I was referring to my lifespan, rather than the time at my disposal on any given day. Second, I was unaware you possessed knowledge of my trip to Chaoyang Village. You've never read a quick summary of everything that happened today. I see. Thank you for informing me. Yes, they have been safely delivered. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have to hand it to Cloran. Just a simple gift delivery, and she has the great and mighty Udex at her beck and call. I was just passing through. It was merely an act of convenience. All right. Then I hereby confirm receipt of the goods on behalf of the staff of the Fortress of Meripede. A verbal receipt of confirmation? Is such a formality really necessary for a small matter such as this? Guess not. This quantity of tea, though, seems a little excessive for a gift, don't you think? Before you know it, they'll start accusing me of taking bribes. <laughs> Much of that is my own excess, I'm afraid. Oh? Why? What happened? It was buy ten boxes, get half off. Oh. Ah, that explains it. Then. Well, go ahead and leave them to me. I'll get through this stash as fast as I can. You have my thanks. Oh, there's something else I'd like to give to you. This is a stone slate, engraved with a symbolic design. Well, that is an apt description. It is, in actuality, a legal codex. A legal codex, huh? Hmm. Before the advent of modern writing utensils, information was recorded on stone slabs such as this. The law was no different. Oh. Since ancient times, the scales of justice have symbolized the fairness and impartiality of judiciousness. As a tribute to that sentiment, this slate was designed after a traditional legal codex and engraved with a symbol instead of text. During my travels recently, I chanced upon a roadside stall offering tourists the opportunity to try their hand at the ceramic arts. So I decided to have a go. We joked with Cloran some time ago about gifting you a legal codex. So, here. Ah, so that's what this is about. I did not expect you to remember it as well. In any case, I hope this can be considered as a reasonable attempt to join in on the banter. It is a very good attempt. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Even your sense of humor centers around the law. That's an impressive level of commitment. Well, a gift of this significance deserves to be put on display. And I know just the place. Front and center in the fortress's showroom. Ah, oh, surely there's no need for such a grand gesture. Just kidding. I don't have anything like a showroom. But we do have a storage room. We can put it next to all the mechanical parts Sijuin has collected. That sounds good to me. <laughs> so glad that you were doing in Chaoying Village. Indeed. Of course, while I was there, I also took the opportunity to taste spring the water. spring water. The aftertaste is much purer than what I have delivered to me in Fontaine. It stands to reason that the long-distance transport has a tendency to imbue the water with extraneous emotion. If you want to experience the true flavor, you simply have to go to the source. Perhaps I should organize some time off to do the same elsewhere. Then we are of the same mind. It appears my desire is justified. If you say so, but, but you know you don't have to justify a vacation, right? You can just take one. After all, you're hardly bereft of time. You can do whatever you want. You're quite right. I suppose I suffer not from a lack of opportunity, but rather a lack of inspiration. However, after reading a few articles about Li Wei's holiday traditions, the idea popped into my head and made itself quite at home. Seeing as I was free of responsibilities for the morning, I decided to depart at once. Refreshing. How was it? My spontaneous outing seemed to inspire quite a few other spontaneous decisions as well. Take, for example, my foray into ceramics. At first, soil from the ground is granular and unforgiving, but add the right amount of water, and it becomes soft, moldable, and able to take shape. In the past, I never thought about how quotidian vessels were crafted. But now, I have participated in their very making. This is also something I made today. Oh? Ne a ladle. That's a ladle? I thought that it was supposed to be some long-necked sea creature. That was indeed one of my inspirations. <laughs> really? You like it? But <laughs> to tell you the truth, given your unexpected arrival, 
I find myself quite unequipped to give you the welcome you deserve. Around Bounties. such an important holiday such as this, human custom would dictate that gifts should be in order. But I'm afraid this is all I can offer. If you'll have it, that is. Made by hand and everything. That's why it would do me such a great honor if you accepted. You are most welcome. Happy Lantern Night. You pass along the advice for the new let's vacation. Mm. Approve a leave of absence request for myself. That sounds like it could easily lead to a vicious cycle of self-indulgence. Something which couldn't be in further violation of protocol. But I suppose I understand your point. My proclivity to refrain from personal outings does in part originate from a sense of responsibility toward my duties. But it is also due to a lack of desire to engage in the human world. But now I see that the human world is indeed full of many interesting places to discover. Alright. Wait, my next part. Lantern Rite marks the start of the new year in Liyue. In the spirit of the season, then, I wish you a year of success as vast and endless as the open ocean. Ooh. What's the next one? I'm going to prepare for the rain jade right. Alright, wait lang. Since we're here, I'm going to get commission. Rain jade right. What is that? Add Astro. Thank you for Add Astro. The Mustang and the Farina. Lantern right, lantern right. I prefer the rain jade right. Oh, here, wait, wait, rain jade. Oh, tapos na kal. Okay, tapos na pala. Etong rain jade right ay yung last world quest na ginawa ko. Nung wala pa yung lantern, right? Okay. Kala ko, kasama dito. Ito, may nakuha ko na yun, ah. Furnishing. Saan yun? Ta-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-
You are not your skin. Rain outlines your fate. My name echo in song. I swear by my sword. Time to go. Now you're testing my patient's will. I've been a different. Bigyan mo naman ako ng magandang artifacts para kay tayo nari Ayun ako game ng pwede yanin come on oh oh ay hindi goblet eh ako oh, saan kay Farina eh ay kay Farina <laughs> kay Inahida best travel to bed rain outlines your face Maling artifacts. Maling maling artifacts. The heck.
Ano yung spiral abyss ngayon? Di ba bago ngayon, di ba? It's really, really slow. Wow, we need, we need great, we need great, we need great artifacts. Wait lang. Where's Nahida? Oh, I know. Wala, elemental mastery nga. Ayan ako. Okay na sana to. Ah, 
Um, pwede. Pwede rin. Baka lang. <laughs> baka lang. Uh, baka hindi maging okay. Baka hindi maging okay pag in-upgrade ko na eh. Bilis ah. Ah, dalaw niya ako ako pero hindi ko na kung <laughs> hindi ko na kung magiging okay yung dalawang artifacts na yun. Not time for here, Charles. Alright, then there is no No shots. Boat. Ah, <laughs> naga. Sabi ko na hindi hindi asawa niya di magiging okay. Ah, eh. naga. Wait, last is in a header. Oh. Well, technically, wala kang crit damage. Walang crit rate tayo. Sino yung gamit mo kanina? Hindi ka pa... Actually, pwede pa. Ah, kita mo yun? Five? 
So crit rate ang kailangan mo? Fine. Ano yung meron kayo na hila? Oh, crit rate. Alright. Wala nang go. Pwede gawin. Anong meron ngayon sa Spiral Abyss? Mulan. Hindi magandang sign yun. Sure, Descent. When a character receives healing, it will be counted. When it accounts a total of 60, a shackle will be unleashed. Uh, the character position during true damage and nearby points are during the count. One sa or such shackle can be unleashed. Every healing? Huh, mulit nga talaga. Sino ang... Wait, sino yung kalaban? Treasure Hoarders... Alright, alright. Okay, kailangan dito si ano. Zana, Zana, Mo. After the current triggers a vaporized reaction, the vaporized reaction done for the current increase by 50%. So, who tells? Same team, pa rin. Nabi, I'm going to go to the same team. Try na, try na natin. Ah. Uh... Time to shine. Alright, uh, wait, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. So, floor name, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Umay ko pa rin si Navi, ha? Wait, kaya ba ni Hutao ito mag-isa? Kaya ba ni Hutao ito mag-isa? Ano ko, Hydro ito eh. Ay, shit. Ito yung lagot. Ay, 
Rain outlines your fate. Shit. Ui, ui, ui. Come on, but this is a hive. The heck? Energy recharge, very card HP is greater than fifty percent. Um Strike a Let the world come on. Right, right. Let me read you first. Oh shit, you're a maiden. Where the fuck are you? Gotcha. Wait, and the I die and die more. And die, no, no. What's next? Second half. All right. Oh, oh. Ruin grader. Mga tayo na abis sa pangalawa. Okay, same team, same team pa rin. They will come. Strike a pose. Let the world come. Rain outlines your face. Huh? Ow. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm spread out. I'm 
Oof. Elemental Mastery. Ah, she out. Die, die, die. Die, die, faces. No, no, no. no, no. Wait, I'm <laughs> Ah, elemental burst. Eh, uh, sinibat, sinibat dito. Takal mo tao. Your journey ends here. The other side. May have that. May have that. No. Two. For eleven. Okay, as. Pangalawa na sila hutao. Pare pero para mahirapan na. Ah. Hydro. Pero ang uh, pero abis. Oh shit, so it's not a Animo damage bonus. So, second half, si Huto pa rin free na, pero is switch na natin si Kazu, <laughs> si Jin. Tayo natin. Shit, hyper.
Ah, mira, no, esto para que la moto ya. Oh, my bad, it's a big gun. Into the wind. As one with wind and cloud. Let the world collide. One with nature. Oh, my God, I'm going to go to floor 12. <laughs> Uh no, the green end point is a fifty chance and Ay, me gira puta. Shit, I'm going to Seven minutes. The bed. The wind knows. Oh, shit. Tagdan sa na GOV siya pa. Ah, uh, fine. Don't waste my time. 
shit, Bagel. Hindi ko na kung kailan ba madadamage. Seven minutes. One with wind and cloud. This isn't good. Come on, you go. Oof. Oh, I didn't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. A large ruined serpent. Ruined serpent? Set up when. Oh, shit. Lana, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't Alright, wala na ako dito. Hmm, mas maganda pag sama-sama eh. Try nga natin. Wala na to, wala na, wala na, di na to 3 star. Serpent, maganda kasi pag nandiyan si Foreen eh. Paano kaya ito? It's no choice. Don't 
Voilà, des temps réels. Eh, pour autant, voilà, attends. Se con el que di cristal. Ay, no va. I'm gonna go over so. Wala, sobrang hina ng mga characters ko. Oh my god. Wala ito. Wala ito. Toaster. Ah, nak apa? Nak berapa gua gua? Toaster pergi ni? Five minutes na? Wanna be a new me? Dai, dai, anda kau mau tay?
Oh shit. Hey, lay down. The mama dance in hub, yeah. The curtain. Rain outlines your face. Bad. Tagal, tagal. Oh my god. Oh. Ay, nasa to. Okay na. Mamatay na si Navio.
Oh my god. Wala talaga to start talaga ako. And there. Okay, okay na 'yon. So, hanggang doon lang talaga ako sa Spiral Abyss to start. Pero ibig sabihin, pwede pa ako mag-improve. Hirap na F2P. Wala ko parang aksin si Tainari. Si Tainari magiging din... Ano eh? The frick is this? Oh, para kay Nabia. Ano ko kanina? Try to charge another air bike. It's the wind bright. Oh my god, I think oh, uh, LN. First time chatter, LN. Kind of gonna add Ah, bye. I guess the next, um. Next, um. um next, I. Beast inside. Next, uh, the pussy. Then I think I'm putting the pussy horror in it. Alright, I am. Um, I'm out. I'm out. Alright, I'm out. <laughs> uh, Sakatan tayo.